So yesterday I was out in Mendocino with some friends. We did some coastal foraging and we got a good amount of uni here. So these are purple urchin and um, my cook didn't go so, so well as planned. My fuel canister ran out. I got a new one here, so I'm good to go. I have some uni left here from yesterday and today I'm gonna be making some uni pasta. So these are from yesterday, so they may not be as fresh. Flavor is still okay, but I can definitely tell it's not as fresh as yesterday. So a little bit about me. I'm a sushi chef in San Francisco. I work at a small omakase style restaurant right now oh, called Hinata. So if you're in San Francisco, Come by, I'll hook you up. Well, this one looks good. Oh yeah, much bigger, much brighter. And I used to work at another restaurant in San Francisco called Roca Core. I was also a sushi chef there as well. My days off, I like to be outdoors, do a lot of uh, fishing, coastal foraging, go up in the mountains, do a lot of camping. Um, and I'm hoping I can create some good content for you guys with the knowledge I have from being a sushi chef. Look how bright orange this one is. Look at that. Super bright. So if you haven't checked out my video from yesterday where I was out in Mendocino foraging for the Izuni, go to my channel and check it out. It's pretty good. It's pretty cool. This is my first video as well. So my editing, my video editing skills, not so great yet. If you have any tips, recommendations, critiques, let me know. Comment down below and let me know what's up. I could use some help. And this one looks pretty good right there. Check this out, I'll give you a little comparison here. Look at the difference here. And for the last one, actually. By the way, I'm not in Mendocino anymore. I was, I'm back in San Francisco by my house at McLaren Park. So I'm putting it in all this in the, in the water just to wash it off first. And I'm gonna wash this show off. So I feel like most people that come to uh, the restaurant where I work at, it's more of a high-end type of sushi restaurant. So most of those people like uni, they love uni. Um, but how about you guys? Do you feel like uni is good? Or have you ever tried it? Let me know. Comment down below. I need a lot of onions. Just gonna. Just gonna get the flavor out of these. The onions and and garlic. I'm gonna put some beer in here actually. Throw some of the uni in there. Got some heavy cream. Throw a little bit on there. I actually forgot to bring salt, so that kind of sucks. It's all right. I'll get plenty of flavor out of this. Just gonna reduce it a little bit. I pre-cooked some pasta earlier add that in then the pasta is kind of cooked it's undercooked so still have to cook it a little more and allow the pasta to absorb a bit of this sauce now I'm gonna turn off the heat a little more fresh fresh uni in here a little more mix it up a little more but there we go Top it off. 
Got the rest of this in. This is seaweed. Naughty. And there you have it. Uni pasta. Oh, that looks good, man. Look at that. Oh, that's some Michelin star plating right there. It's not easy with the spork. Mmm. Oh, oh, yeah. But definitely needs some salt. I mean, I could have gone back to my house. It's literally like a two minute walk, but I didn't feel like going back because I went back. I already had gone back like three times for one small thing every time and I just didn't want to go back again <laughs> but this right here is good that's too small <laughs> I gotta eat the rest of this in here look at that mm, nice and creamy it's an easy recipe go get some uni try for yourself but you do have to go during low tide unless you want to go dive in the ocean which is actually really fun too. I've done it uh, only once, but that was really fun. The water's cold. You gotta have a wetsuit for sure. Well, if you like my video, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.